Okay. I'm a big fan of old school Sonic games. I've played them all as a child. I have the first Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles. You name it, I have it. And yes, I play them all on a Sega Genesis. So I was in the attic lately, cleaning up the crap that I have in there. But while I was cleaning, I stumbled across this weird Sega Genesis cartridge. It had a piece of paper on there with the words Lost Sonic written on it. I really have no idea what the hell this was doing in my attic. I never remembered this game from my childhood, but curiosity got the best of me. So I put in the game, grabbed my controller, and started playing. It started with the intro from the original Sonic the Hedgehog, but some things were unusual about it. There was no background, just a black screen. And there was no title, just a giant ring with Sonic in it. But I still pushed start, and the game began. It started out with the same thing every old Sonic game started with, a green island stage with flowers and palm trees. But the zone didn't have a name. It only said, Act 1. The music was Green Hill Zone, but slowed down like in the European version. There was also no life, time, score, or rings counter. And there were no bad nicks or hazards in the zone. But I still kept going. Other than all of that, it was like your normal Sonic level. But then, out of nowhere, Robotnik came out of nowhere and struck me. There were no rings in the zone, so... As expected, I died. But... Instead of the normal death animation, the screen cut black, and the death sound was heard. The game just froze there, on a black screen. I pressed the reset button on my Sega Genesis and restarted the game. This time, I was shocked. The title screen went through a huge change. The background turned blood red, and under the ring with Sonic in it, it said, Lost. And the music was screwed up too. It was slowed down and missing a lot of notes. Sonic, however, was worst of all. His color scheme was lightened a lot, and his eyes were red. Sonic was also frowning while... while blood was dripping from his eyes. In fear, I pressed the start button. The level started up and... Oh God, it was horrible. The top of the title screen said, Sol on y Pasque, and TCA1 on the bottom. It took me a while to realize it, but it was saying, Lost, No Escape, Act 1. Backwards. Sonic was the same as he was on the title screen, light colored with red pupils and blood under his eyes. The music was the same as it was on the title screen, too. I pushed through the level. The level was underground themed, with blood dripping from the top, bones and puddles of blood surrounding the level. Some gore was found too. The only bandic present 
was a single centipede from the Mystic Cave Zone. But instead of dropping an animal when I killed it, blood splattered out of it. And there were also spikes with blood on the tips and some cases of acid that killed me in one hit. And every time I got hit, I would get sent back to the start of the level. There were no checkpoints throughout this whole process, and so the level was extremely difficult. I finally got through the level, but there was no signpost. Instead, there was a giant black ball. But then, two ghoulish red eyes peeked out of the black ball. It then charged at me, making the screen go completely red. I thought it was going to do the same thing as last time and freeze immediately. But I was wrong. A message saying, you couldn't escape appeared with a picture of Sonic being hung by a bloody rope. I turned off the game. What the hell did I just play? I thought to myself. Was this really made by Sega? Or was this a bootleg? I didn't know that day. And I still don't know today. But I do know where that game is now. It's in the trash. Where it belongs.